How about spotted success for Bryce Helder? It has not been easy for him, no doubt, to come up and make these spot starts, but we're asking him to do it once again. Mason Wynn ready to go. He had a couple of hits in game one. The pitch, Mason hits that one down the right field line. Fair, the ball veers to the corner. He got a triple on that in the first game. He rounds second base. He's trying for third. Here comes the relay, the slide. Stay for third base. A game leadoff triple for Mason Wynn. Fly ball off the bat of Alec Burleson. That's into shallow center. Jared Kelnick sets up behind the ball. Wins tagging. Here comes the throw. It's off target. And ABC Baseball gives the Cardinals a 1-0 lead. Two batters in. That is way more fun. That's the yeah. way you do it. Get the offense rolling. There's a shot by Contreras into left field. And he will throw out an anchor at first base. And he's aboard with a one-out single. That is on the corner, and Paul Goldschmidt just got served a little frozen pizza on a Saturday night. One-two. In the air, deep right center field, but it will hang up for Kelder. Sonny Gray has a 1-0 lead. Brad, he looks for win number 10, and with one out, he'll pitch 100 innings this year for the Cardinals. Yeah, making his 18th start of the season is Sonny Gray. Begins his night by facing the left-handed, hitting Jared Kelnick. Just swung on and flown into right field, racing over a lunging effort from Newport, and he took a terrible angle. It's past him all the way to the wall. Kelnick cut the bag in second. It's retrieved by Siani in right. And Jared Kelnick slides in safely with a leadoff triple. When's the last time you saw that? Both teams leading off with a triple. Here's Ozzy Albee's chance to tie it. Swung on and a hard hit. One hopper. It gets through Nolan Gorman into right field. Kelnick jogging home. And he'll tally the Braves' first run. An RBI single for Ozzy Albee's as he rakes one through the right side. Riley the other way. Deep if it's fair. It's gone. Fair ball. Two-run homer. Atlanta leads it. Oliver Marmel was talking with Larry Van over the crew chief. The umpires are going to gather. We might get a crew chief review here to see if that ball curled foul at the last moment down the right field line. Upon review, the call in the field is overturned. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. Riley, instead of a two-run homer, is out number one on a swing and a miss. That was nasty and thrown with some anger from Sonny Gray. One out. On the ground. There'll be one play. It's to first, runner to second. Albies, Olsen rolls out softly, two away. And all president accounted for today as Sonny Gray strikes out Ozuna. And thank goodness for review. That takes away a two-run homer. And there's one away. Nolan Gorman bats from the left side the pitch. Elder's pitch is swung on. That's hit deep. Right center field. Tack to the track, the wall. It's a gunner. Nolan Gorman makes it three to one with his 18th home run of the year. Arnado scores ahead of Nolan Gorman. No question about that one being fair or foul. I was just going to say that, John. You beat me to it. It's a pretty good guess on Siani's part. <laughs> That's his 11th stolen base of the season. The 1 2 pitch. Win chops that one toward third. This is a tough play for Riley. Barehanding, throwing. Safe! On to third base, Siani. A two hit game for Mason Wynn. That was a good play by Riley to make it close. Mix in a home run and a walk, and it adds up the potential for a huge inning for the Cardinals on one just is just one hard hit ball. And here's a ball that's hit into right center field, dropping, dropping, dropping. That's a hit. Here comes the run with Michael Ciani scoring. Win is on second, and the Cardinals have a three-run second inning and lead this one four to one. Ground ball. Riley can't get that. That's through for a hit. Win around third. He's going to come home and score. Contreras is two for two, and the Cardinals are pouring it on. It's a 5-1 game. Back-to-back -back hits on back-to-back change-ups against Bryce Elder. He's been hitting just 209 so far this year. The pitch is strike three called on a check swing I guess Arcia is retired on strikes Gray's got four of those one out in the Braves third pause and pitch and a swing and a miss would you see what Sonny Gray did there that messed up Kelnick's timing and he struck out the last three Atlanta hitters the Cardinals right hander has gone to work and a little roller hit towards second. Gorman's got that easy flip to first and Sonny Gray breezes through his first three innings. And right down 
Broadway. Sonny Gray freezes Austin Riley, who strikes out for the second time. Well, this is Sonny Gray right now. He is playing chess. You got guys looking for that sweeper away and just sneaking fastballs by. So Gray's now retired seven in a row. Here's Marcel Ozuna. Marcel struck out swinging in the first inning. And he swings and slugs one high and deep to left field. Marcelo Zuna shattered that baseball onto the Henry Aaron Terrace. Home run number 27 for Marcel Ozuna. And it's now the Cardinals five, the Braves two. And a swing and a miss. There's that wicked slider the Cardinals tried to throw in game one. That was a beauty. Rosario's retired. Seven strikeouts for Sonny Gray. Ozuna's homer brings Atlanta a run closer. After a rough second, Elder has been very tough. He set down eight in a row. And on a check swing, he gets Contreras for nine in a row. That's his eighth strikeout. He's trying to act as his own middle reliever here and give his offense a chance to come back. Wow. Another one. Painted on the corner, nine Ks for Elder. So two outs, Donovan bats, he's 0 for 2. Swing and a drive, that's belted to right. Donovan with an ambush job into the chop house seats. Hit 6-2 Cardinals. Chip, how about the quick hands of Brendan Donovan? And Joe, how much different does this game play out if Austin Riley's ball that was ruled a home run is ultimately fair and isn't overturned on review? Changes everything. This ball is hit deep to left center field, and it's gone. Austin Riley powers it out of here, and it's six to three. Two seam fastball. It's elevated, maybe inner third, but smoked here by Austin Riley. 112 off the bat. No doubt about this one into left center field. His first full count for Sonny Gray, and he comes back to get Olsen. Pulled a string for a strikeout number nine. Six to three, St. Louis. Two out, nobody on for Ozuna, who homered his last time up to extend his hitting streak to eight games. This ball is hit high and deep to left center. A two homer night for Marcelo Ozuna. And another big fly for the Big Bear. His 28. Then RBI number 79, and it's 6 to 4, St. Louis. Eddie Rosario headed for the Chap House. 6 to 5. Three homers in the last four hitters for Atlanta. Back to back, Jacks. It's 6 to 5. Eddie Rosario, where have you been, baby? And he got him. Sonny Gray's got double digit strikeouts. That's number 10. Now he's got Kelnick up with the bases empty and two outs. Right back to the mound. That'll take care of Atlanta. And if that's the end of the line for Sonny Gray, he finished with a flourish. He got the right guy at the right time. Burleson with an RBI in five straight games. Ground ball throw. That's a base hit. Burleson with a three hit game. That brings home Ciani, and the Cardinals have a huge insurance run. It's 7 5 St. Louis. Ground ball throw for a base hit. One run scores. Here comes Contreras. Duval's throw will be back to first. It's a two run single. For Donovan. It's a 9 5 Cardinals lead, a three run ninth inning. One ball, no strikes. Popped him up. That should do it. Who wants it? It's Nolan Gorman in shallow center, and the Cardinals have even the series, a 9 5 final. Gray and Leahy nail it down, and the Redbirds offense, Brad, nine runs on 14 hits.